Hi guys, this is Karen Gidden, your sister here in Jesus Christ. Guys, I want to share this vision with you that the Lord gave me last year, November 2015. When I got this vision, I did not think much of it except uh, the part with the great earthquake. Uh, I think because I, I did not understand some part of it. But as revelation begins to unfold, as the Lord continues to give me visions and dreams and divine revelation, I can now link this vision that I had last year to now basically this vision began with a huge earthquake came and shook oh my god the nation and both myself and my family we were hiding in our home after the earthquake when we looked outside uh, we were covered and we were surrounded by mud slag we could not get out and we went back where we were hiding just to make sure that the tremors weren't coming and when we came back from hiding um from where we were hiding and went into our front room we saw two men standing in our front room and i was surprised because i didn't know where these men just appeared from but they said that they were angels and that they were here to get us out of uh, the devastation and bring us to a place of safety i then said to one of the gentlemen which is the angel i said how are we going to get out because we're covered in mudslide and he said don't worry about it we will get you out and somehow uh these two men got us out of the house and we went inside a white van and we drove to a part like a river which had a boat a huge boat that was waiting for us and we rode on the boat crossing this river to go to somewhere unknown that i don't know and i've never shared this vision with anybody Body because like I said when I got the vision I just did not understand why the two angels were there why we went into the white van why we uh, went on the boat crossing the river to a different like island that is where the vision ended but as God started to give me divine revelations and visions especially about our uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse 14 and Revelation chapter 12 verse 6 and Luke 12 verse 37. My eyes begin to open and I understand the vision now. I understand that this vision is talking about the true bride of Christ, the true Christian going into a place of safety. Ladies and gentlemen, I unequivocally believe 100% that the church will go into the wilderness somewhere on earth uh, for three and a half years as proclaimed in the book of Revelation chapter 12. I know that there's a lot of people having a very difficult hard time grasping and understanding what does uh the wilderness mean we thought you know the rapture is coming first of course the rapture is coming 100 percent, it is coming but you must understand that we serve a god that is faithful we serve a god that is full of love and compassion and he wants as many people as there is to be saved to be caught up in the rapture and those of us who goes into the wilderness we are the true bride we were the ones who serve jesus 100 percent who worship him day and night who did not turn back in our hearts who did not follow the world those that are left behind to go through the great persecution are part of the great persecution uh, from the antichrist which is satan embodied in a human being those christians will have to uh place their lesions to see who they love is it the antichrist will they take the mark of the beast or will they be edited for king jesus and you know the lord wants us all to be caught up in the rapture and obviously those left behind and those in the wilderness when the rapture finally comes we will be the true bride of christ and that is why god is getting us prepared you know keep sweet in the lord keep worshiping the lord he loves you very 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 much and i will keep posting my vision can you hear my baby in the background he's screaming <laughs> i have to go attend to him now but god bless you god eternally bless you we are in the last hour
We're in the final week. Something great is going to happen in March 2016. We are out. We're, today is the 10th, I think, or 11th of March. We are in the final hour, ladies and gentlemen. Be prepared. Be, 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 be prepared. God love you. God bless you. And I'll speak to you all soon in Jesus' glorious name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you.